Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about isNull and ifNull function in MySQL database. So, add your isNull and ifNull function generally used to handle the null values. So, this is the our table, add your EMP, so let's execute. And this is the record inside the EMP table. So, add your one column, there are lots of null values are there. So, suppose if or uh, if you are using is null function, if the value is null, then that return 1. And if the value is 300, so that return 0. And if you are using if null, so if the value is null, so that return whatever you give the value. And if the value is 300, so that return 300. So let's uh, uh, see by example. So at here I am using, uh, going to write to select. And here selecting EMP number column. And here after ename column and here dpt number column and here I am going to apply is null on com column and here after let's use is null or function and here let's pass com. And or from give the table name EMP. So EMP, EMP is my table. Now let's execute the query. So see at here when the value is null, so that returns 1. And if the value is 300, so that returns 0. 500, 0, and null, then return 1. And here null, so this all value return 1. So at here is null, it's a, a system generator. So if you want, to give any meaningful name so add here just write as so this is a column alias and here I'm going to write kami set now let's execute so see at here commission it's the added so when the value is 300 so that return 0 and if the value is null so that return 1 so this is the use of is null function so in place next thing in place of this or all columns you can use a star also now let's execute the query so the a star indicate all the columns and here or oh, this is additional column commission and here if the value is null so that return 1 and if the value is null 1 and if the value is 300 that return 0 so this is the things related to or uh, sml function and with isNull function, you can also use aggregator calculation. So let's use select and here after sum. So sum is the aggregator of function and here going to include isNull. And in isNull, I'm going to pass the column com. And here after let's close and here after let's give column alias. And here include the column dpt number and this table from emp emp table and here after I am making a group by to dpt number. So about the group by I discussed in my last video. So please check that also if you like to know more about group by. Now here after let's execute the query. So see at here the output is coming 3 and uh, here uh, for uh, uh, dpt20 it's 4 and 30 it's a 2. So let's see. So I executed uh, this query and here after I'm making this query in uh, order by making order by on so by, by using order by clause you can uh, display data in ascending order so i'm going to make order by dpt number so see at your dpt number so this is three times or uh, when i execute this query so that make the group on dpt number so 10 in one group so 10 is three times and here after 20 so it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 times and 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
and 5. So total add here 5 times. So and when I make the group, so DP number 10 in one group, here after that do the calculation. So is null. So add here that uh, DP number. So when the value of uh, uh, DP 10 or uh, null, so here that to uh, return 1. So when I execute this query, so when the value is so uh, null, so that returns 1. So like this, if you execute this one, so uh, DP 10 in one group, so add here that return 1. So this is 3 times, so 1 plus 1 plus 1, so that return uh, 3. So sum at here I am using, so that here, that return 3. And here for 20, it is returning 4 times. And for 30, it is returning only 2 times, because, let us so execute this key. So at here, 30. So here, in a DP 30, the value is, uh, or 30 and here null is only two times so here that uh, 1 plus 1 and or uh, 2 and here after that add 0 0 0 so 2 plus 0 the value is only 2 so that here it's returning or uh, 2 for dpt 30 so the uses of is not function if the value add here so if the value is so null, so that return 1 or here if the value is so any integer value or any string value, so that return 2. So these two things. So I want add here if the value is null, so whatever user enter, so that return and here if the value is 3, so I am not going, uh, so that to return 3 only. So for this you have to use if null function. So add here, let us include if only. And here you have to pass the parameter. So if the value is so, uh, if the value com value is null, so that to uh, in place of null, so I am going to return one. So let us execute that query. So see at here when the value is null, so it is returning one. Uh, three hundred, so no any changes. Five hundred, no any changes. So if you want here, you can change. You can give any number. So at here I am going to give zero. So when the value of null, so it is uh, returning 0, see at here, it is all 0. So like this, you can use add here, if also, and uh, here if null function, and here you can have to pass the parameter. With is null function, you cannot to use any parameter, but if null function, you can choose the parameter. So at here, when the value of uh, or uh, count value is so null, so I am going to add with 100. So here, if I am going to execute this query, so order by so 10 is 3 times. So uh, 3 times, that means that add 100, 100, 100, 300, and here, or uh, this is uh, 20, add here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that return 400, and for 30, so 30 make one group, so first that add. Uh, this uh, number 5 and 5 plus 3 800 800 plus uh, 1400 2200 and here 2 null so 100 100 so that return 2400 so let's execute the query so see at here uh, 10 in common one group 300 20 400 and this the 2400 so this the things about is null and if null function so is null function when the value is Null, so that return 1 or else that return 0. So if null function when the value of null so you whatever user provides so that value that return and if the value is not null 300 so that not doing any changes. So this is the way we can handle null by using if null and is null function. So I hope can this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.